All right, so I'm picking up with you today. We're gonna take a quick look at this audio source. This is a Model 11 equalizer. This was sent to me by Randy. He lives in Colorado. He had a couple problems with this that he was having. One, he said the audio in this unit had a dominant hum in one channel. And I did not find any problem with that whatsoever. There is no issues with any of the input output connections, no capacitor issues to talk of. So I'm not sure what was going on with that. I did speak to him about it and he's gonna be checking out his patch cables and making sure there's not an open ground there or checking into possibly a loose connection in one of his RCA connections on the receiver. But the other issue he was having with this was in the spectrum analyzer display. On the far left here in the 30 hertz position, none of the LEDs in that segment would work. If he tapped on the EQ, they would come back and start working, but it was an intermittent thing. And I chased this problem for a little bit. I'll kind of give you the rundown on what I'd done. At first I was convinced the issue was over here, so I just basically resoldered this entire section, including the ribbon cables coming and going from the display, only to come up with it still having a problem. So I started to do a little freezing and heating, looking for where the problem might be. And that was to no avail either. And so then it was just tapping slightly on every little place in the board until I could get it isolated. And I found it over here in this area. And I'll see if I can show you. Just depends on how well the camera will agree. But if we can zoom in here, I made a red, red mark on the board with a marker. And yeah, I think we can get in there a little bit. And there is a capacitor here. And I don't know. When I move that component, you can see the lead coming in and out of the hole. And it's a really tough one to see. And an even harder one to try to isolate. And it's right below that red arrow I put on the board. So again, I'm not sure. It's gonna go out of focus. Maybe you can see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tack this up and I'll bring you back and show you the completed product here. All right, as I bring you back in here, I went ahead and put the camera overhead so we can try to get a little better look at this. I mean, now that I've messed around with it, it's even looser than it was, but it wasn't that loose to begin with. So to the left of that red arrow right there, and I'll see if I can get my finger in here and you can see the lead moving in the hole. The actual solder is still kind of formed around the lead a little bit. So unless, unless you're just really, really careful looking, you'll glance right by it. And so, may have been something I might have found a lot quicker 20 years ago when my eyes were a little bit better, but I was looking at the whole thing under magnification, scanning the board but it's definitely there. So in case you're missing your 30 Hertz LED segment, you might want to check right there.